James Kaufman, World News Report, today, August 23rd, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just had two strong solar flares after a few days of quiet. We're first starting here at the Planetary K Index, and I'm showing you that there is no solar weather, solar winds, or plasma hitting planet Earth currently, according to NASA NOAA's estimated planetary KP index. All right, headed over to GOES X-ray flux. Looks like we've had several M-class solar flares today, at least one, two, three, four, five, and then an M-shaped, very strong M-flare. And so we'll say five, six. It could be more than that, but we will get a count and we'll find out how strong these flares are. All right, over to spaceweatherlive.com. I'd like to start off by saying that all of today's activity has been generated by Sunspot AR3800 and AR3801. The first real activity we see was that large M3.4 solar flare that peaked at 341 UTC time. That came from 3801. We'll see that in just a second. Followed up almost immediately by an M1 out of 3800. That was followed by an M1.7 out of 3800 at 1357 UTC time, which is about 7 a.m. Cent uh, Central Time this morning. We had another M1.7 after that. This one was from 3800, and this one was from 3801. That was followed up by another M flare from 3800 that peaked at 1645. It's like they're taking turns here almost. Uh, we have then another M1.1 solar flare that peaked at 1933 out of 3801. And then we've had our two strong M-class solar flares with an M-shape to them, an M3.4 followed by an M5.1, both out of Sunspot AR3800. Now, that was a M5.18 to be exact. Currently today, we only have a 15% chance of having an X-class solar flare a 70% chance of an M-class flare, that ship has sailed, and a 100% chance of running a strong sea baseline plus. All in all, we've seen plenty of strong sea flares, a couple of C9.1, C9.4, etc. But all in all, what have we seen? We've seen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. M-class solar flares today. Unbelievable. And the day is far from over. Headed over to HMI Intensogram. 3800 does not look very complex whatsoever, and neither does 3801. These are the only two sunspots spewing out plasma, whereas the complicated sunspots like 3790, 3792, and 3796, and 3794, don't seem to be doing much of anything. Currently, we have 10 sunspot groups Earth-facing. Over to GOES, Solar Ultraviolet Imager. We've got our 3800 down here. I just want you all to see that, uh, well, we also have 3801 erupting with that. It's called a sympathetic eruption, and they must be connected in some way. We see our two large M flares out of 3800. We also see another significant flare out of 3801. Absolutely amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I wanted to show you the D region absorption prediction for those two strong M class solar flares. And really, the absorption that we see is not as strong as it regularly is. And I'm going to tell you the reason for that. 
NASA had actually written an article before these M flares popped off about Sunspot AR-3800. And let's take a look at what they have to say. Now, I'm going to summarize what they had to say, but this is 3800 here. And notice how low it is or close it is to the South Pole. Well, they said that this is very unusual to see a sunspot group, and they call it this high in altitude. It's at around 27 degrees latitude south. Now, I would call it this low, but they use the word high. And they said that this is very strange to see if we're anywhere near a solar max. And because the sunspot is so far away from the equator, they don't believe that we are as close to a solar max as we think we were. They believe that we have a couple of more years to go before this cycle maxes out, which would really make more sense, i.e. being halfway through the 11-year pole flip or magnetic pole flip of our sun, i.e. the cycle. With that said, the deregion absorption just was nowhere near what we'd regularly see from those strong M flares, and I believe it to be less you know, affected towards Earth because of how low it is on our solar disk. And here it is down here, 3800. And here, 3801 is a reverse polarity sunspot with negative over positive in the northern hemisphere. Everything else, well, this really looks reverse polarity as well. And this is questionable. White over black, southern hemisphere, positive over negative. These are the two culprits as well. And they both look like they could be, well, reverse polarity sunspots, obviously. Jumping over to SOHO 284 Angstrom's latest image here at 7.06 this morning. And our sun is well, looking pretty active. We do know we have 10 sunspot groups earth facing. It looks like we have a couple more coming around the limb that might have to be named. We also have some filaments coming off our inbound limb. So we'll keep an eye on what's going on. No coronal holes on our sun. And our two worry spots are right here, 3800 and 3801 currently. But we will keep you updated on that. Remember, eight M-class solar flares thus far today. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.